Now then, and welcome to the video. Today, you're mostly going to be watching paint dry. Yes, we've finally, finally made a decision on the colour. Yes, when he's not chatting with boaters going by, he's actually rubbing down the boat at the minute using a palm sander. It's a Makita one. I'm not sponsored by them, but it's the one I got from work anyway. Um, so it's having a good rub down and then I'm washing it down with some clean water and a sponge to get rid of all the dust. And I've found this to be the quickest way of rubbing down the boat due to the weather. It's always bloody raining over here in England at the minute, but while it's dry, I'm going to start the painting. So I'm using the, just a grey universal primer. Um, can be used on metal or wood. Anyway, that's going on first and covering over the whole of the side of the boat, as you can see there. It's doing it fairly quickly. It took a lot longer than that in real life. There we go. So I'm cutting in round windows and along the bottom there. And I'm going right up to the top of the boat, the uh, rail bit there. I left it for a good few hours, I think a good four or five hours uh, between coats. And then uh, I put the top coat on top of that, the final colour coat, as they say. Um, this stuff dries pretty quickly and it doesn't need to cure thoroughly for you to overcoat it. Basically what I'm saying is I followed the manufacturer's guidelines. The paint that's underneath is actually pretty solid, so there was no need to take it back to bare metal. I'd actually only coated this up last year, if you remember looking back on the videos. Um, so th and, and I'd gone over the old paint, so it, and there was no peeling or anything like that. So I didn't need to do that much prep, really. There we are. First coat of primer is on. Well, it's the only coat of primer it's having. Not any more than that. There we go. I'll have a rub down and, uh, today or tomorrow. It's due to rain tomorrow, so maybe not. Anyway, it just needs a rub down and then we can top coat it. Two coats of that. Here we are on the back deck and this is the final base colour going on. The darker green there. It's like a sagey green. Looks really nice. And a few people have commented on how nice it is. So that's going all down the sides, all the way around the boat and in the uh, well deck as well. So what do we think? Should that be the final colour? I quite like that. Baby ducklings ain't so baby ducklings anymore. While we were there at Fowl Ridge, we popped into the lime kilns and had a quick look round. They're a bit overgrown at the moment. I think it's because it's summer and obviously CRT cuts won't allow you to actually mow things anymore. They seem to leave everything to overgrow. But there we go. They're quite interesting to go down. A bit muddy because it had been bloody raining. Yeah. Well worth a visit if you're in the area. No, it's time I've got a halo of midges around me. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> it's a bit wet around here. We had a visit from a few of our fans. fans there, the farmer taking them away. A leisurely stroll. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I reckon this is the final base colour for Laura now. It's like a sagey green, really nice colour. I'm going to do some uh, bands of a lighter green, which we used, which I thought was going to be the final colour, but I didn't like. So yeah, that's going to there's going to be some little bands just across and down. And possibly the top rail there that will also be in the light green 
but I may go for a lighter green on the roof yet. Yeah, we're not sure. We're not sure. We'll see. Looking good though. It's due to rain today later on, so hopefully it'll have gone off enough to withstand that. I just missed a kestrel then. That wasn't a kestrel, love. Oh, what was that? That was just a wood pigeon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's now up in that tree there. <laughs> See? Oh. Anyway, I was looking at this lovely stone wall there. <laughs> Not looking at stupid nature that isn't really what it is. I'm assuming this is what really they used to have back in the day, which is a good idea. It saves the brickwork or the metal getting destroyed. Maybe it just curves more that way. Well, in saying that, there is a thing there for one, so maybe they've just put it there for the sake of... For sure. Yeah, there is a... Oh, there is, yeah. Oh, yeah. So maybe that was the hook for the other one. Bridge 148. I'd just like to say thank you uh, to all the people that watch this video, especially you likers and subscribers. And remember, if you click that little bell icon, YouTube will my view next time I release one. Well, we've had a fantastic stop here at Falridge, Falridge, whichever one it is. This has been our view for the past two weeks. But alas, it's time to move on that way. We had a little bit of rain last night, which has made the boat all wet, which obviously it would do. All we've got left to do now is the windows. I've got to get some etch primer on the window frames because they're aluminium. And then I'm going to paint them the same colour as that stripe there. Then I'm off the hand. What's going to do the banding that we've got at the back there all the way through but Debbie said try just the windows first and see where we go from there which she thinks might be a good idea then what's left is that black and then we're in the front end of the boat then got to turn the boat round at some point as well hopefully the towpath will be on the other side where we're going to are we ready? Yeah. it's Debbie's birthday, happy birthday Debbie mm -hmm. 